everybody, this is Praxis, and if you look behind you, it's a winter wonderland out there. It's uh, snowing today. We're supposed to have somewhere between two and four inches, and it looks like it's living up to that expectation. Uh, but I'm not wasting the day. I'd love to be up on the roof finishing things up. I'd love to be finishing up the greenhouse roofs to get that area enclosed, but, you know, can't do that. So I'm using the time that I have to work inside. I just put in uh, the uh, four-foot sections. Uh, how many are there? Five? Five, five four-foot sections of uh, chimney pipe all the way up to the top. That was a little bit challenging because it's just me here. My dad's not here. Uh, River's here with me. Uh, and we were able to kind of collaborate on that. Uh, essentially, I would get a piece into place and uh, River would take a 2x4 uh, underneath. Uh, I'd pre-position a fulcrum back here. He'd get the 2x4 underneath and kind of like hold it in place and give it a little upward pressure while he held down on the 2x4 and I'd get the three screws uh, into the top and uh, you know, we just repeated that uh, going down. I don't know if I trust three screws to hold the whole thing together and up at the very top it's, uh, it goes into an adapter that goes into the chimney box way up at the top. Oh by the way you can see all the way up now. It's the first day you can see top to bottom all the way up and things are looking pretty, pretty finished up there. Uh, obviously, there's more to do, more staining and stuff, but, uh, you know, we're getting there. Um, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm not sure about, like, you know, the screws holding the entire weight of this whole thing. Uh, you know, the people at the store said, like, oh, yeah, it no, worked totally fine. Uh, but, you know, I've got some straps on here, just until we get the wood stove under here, and it's supported from the bottom as well as from the top. Uh, what I'm also doing today is uh, doing some ceiling. I want to get uh, lights up, uh, lighting fixtures. I've actually got two of them. If you look all the way up to the top, there's one on the right. I don't know if you can see the one on the left, but the ones all the way at the top of this uh, corridor of air uh, are in. I did those before I removed that temporary decking there because the decking made it easy to access them. And now with it gone, you know, it would be hard to put those up. So that's why I sealed all that ceiling over there and got the light, uh, those lights in. I'd like to do more lights. Uh, I've been putting in switches and receptacles and things. There's a light that goes right here on the other side. So when you're cooking over the wood stove, there's a light switch that'll turn on a light right here. But before I do that, I want to seal the walls. Anywhere that there is going to be a, uh, a light, I'm kind of pre ceiling, at least just the area where the light goes in. I have a sprayer that uh, we're going to be using for most of the... I'm going to get this a little closer. I think I dripped a little when I, when I did that. Uh, I'm gonna, I have a sprayer to use for this kind of stuff that we're going to use for hopefully the bulk of the walls because it should make it go a lot faster. Uh, but, uh, you know, whenever you're using a tool like that, uh, you know, oftentimes it is, it's a lot of work just to get it set up initially. Uh, and then it's a a lot of work to clean it uh, afterwards. With this, all I gotta do is clean one paintbrush and that's it. Uh, so for small jobs, not needing to do the entire wall, I'm, uh, I'm just using a paintbrush to get the areas around the light. For this particular thing, I'm just doing the whole column. But I've gone around the house and anywhere where I'm going to be positioning a light, I'm doing, you know, like maybe two or three feet around it. Like it, pretty much anything that I feel would be difficult to use the sprayer uh, to get uh, once the light fixture is, uh, is in there. So uh, doing this, I'm going to jump around the uh, rest of the house. This is the second coat of this stuff. I'm doing two coats. Uh, I'm going to jump around the house, get all the other ones, and then by the time I'm done with all those, this should be you know, dry enough for me to work and install the, uh, the lamp right here. Things are coming along. I mean, it's just, you know, bit by bit, we're pecking away at it. And there's only so many more tasks left to do. Still more than I would like, but every day we get closer and closer, and Mother Nature is reminding me I can't possibly move too fast. That's it. Thanks for watching.